Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claire Rose. And this is our November 2023 patron pick of the month. Yeah, we uh, we missed this guy when it dropped. Yeah, um, we, we were... in striking, and it was complicated. We were on strike, and also I was in a coma following the events of Roleplay Relay 1, uh, recovering from a week of D&D. Uh, and so this was one that we just... I, I wanted to see in theaters, but... At the time, we, we we didn't really see anything in theaters during the strike. No, we missed a few, like, yeah. But it wasn't, like, missed. It was just kind of a, like, the, 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 we were a little angry, and it was, we just didn't have that, like, I want to go to the movies right now vibe. Yes, 100%. And so now that the strike is over, and I'm, like, back in the mood, I'm so excited to watch Blue Beetle, because I love this character. Mm -hmm. Jaime Reyes is uh, in Young Justice, which is where I kind of, I'd read comics that he was in, but I'd never read, like, a Jaime Reyes Blue Beetle comic. Mm. Um just, just like kind of team up stuff that uh, he appeared in, right? Uh, and Young Justice was where I really was like, oh, I love this version of this character, because I had always known Blue Beetle from the Booster Gold Blue Beetle stuff, right? And so I'm really excited to see what they did in this movie. Uh, everyone I know mm -hmm. who's seen it kind of was like, yeah, it's 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 you know. I it's feel like good. The, when it got announced, like that's when I remember you being really <laughs> excited about, like, because I think that was like when we were still doing morning show stuff. Yeah. And then when you found out, like, you're like, nah, like, this, this is going to be really cool, so. It's just a character, a Young Justice made me fall in love with Jaime Reyes, so I am excited to uh, dive into this. Uh, if you want the flying three action, uh, or if you want to vote on next month's patron pick, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly, or stay here for now, because the video is about to get blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. <laughs> dabba dee, dabba die. Dabba dee, dabba die. It's God's testicle. What? It's just a giant ball. There's only one of them. Well, he has the other ones still. Those contacts are wild. Is that supposed to be Ted Cord? Is this the Matrix? Well, this is definitely not what I thought this movie was going to start out like. Yeah. Called for making the trip out, Miss Cord. This could be another decoy. It's in there. I can feel it. That'd be a big fucking decoy. Is it concrete? I have no idea. This feels like an 80s animated cartoon. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's the like light streaks. It's like a... They've definitely made this complicated. <laughs> The intro? <laughs> yeah. Wow, we are really doing the like, uh, yeah. I the just story the, the most the... generic version of the like movie version of the superhero comic. Where we're like, in our version, the scarab has always been on Earth. Ted Cord missing. Oh no. Olmec. Whoa, we're just throwing everything in the intro. Okay. I guess. Orb located. Well, we knew that. All right. Is that an actual city? No. Okay, I was like, I don't recognize that. I think it's supposed to be... Palm Springs. Either, like, Miami or, like, Southern California. Excuse me, sir. Number one lowest tax rate. How, how can you vote on what city has the lowest tax rate? Hope I can handle it. Handle what? <laughs> I, I actually, I really love the like casual bilingualism that they're using. Mm, yeah. It feels very realistic. Here, that's all they had. Welcome back, bro. Thank you. Al fin todos juntos. Now we are. Hey, where's Uncle Rudy? Because it always bugs me in movies when people clearly speak another language, but when they're alone with their family, they just speak English. Yeah, And I'm yeah. like, but that's, yeah, like, that's great. There he is. Hey, come on, get out the car and give me a hug. No, no hugs, man. They got Big Brother watching those cameras. You. A boy, we know it's a boy. It's probably a bug in here. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> Mom and Dad have something to tell you. Milagro. What? Hey, he's had his tacos. Now let him have the truth. We, uh, we... We're losing the house. 
No, 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 losing the house. What does what she mean, losing the house? The landlord tripled the rent. They gave us three months to come up with the money or get out. But they have the lowest tax rates. Yeah. He uh, had a... He, 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 Dad had a heart attack. What? I'm fine. It just keeps getting worse. Jaime, I mean, you need to call home more. Yeah. Estamos celebrando al primer Reyes que se gradúa del college. Yeah, and the last. <laughs> <laughs> She's very funny. <laughs> Doesn't it bother you that they talk about progress and get everything while Jesus. we have this? That is wild. Yeah. Looks like Night City. <laughs> yeah. This is just gonna be one of our houses. We're gonna have the mansion on the water with the marble everywhere, infinity pool. I'm not gonna lie. So far, his sister's kind of stealing the movie. <laughs> I know. She's got charisma. Yeah. She's great. This is bullshit. Wow. Thanks, Milando, for hooking me up with this gig. <laughs> Seriously? What? I'm keeping us employed, you noob. Yes, we finally found it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'm gonna say hi. What? No. Good afternoon, ma'am. If you want, we could. <laughs> I'm gonna go say hi. Shouts at her across the way. <laughs> it's like our superpower. Okay, back to work. Don't worry, he'll get more superpowers soon. <laughs> I look forward also. Bye. Even this looks like Cyberpunk 2077 on him. Oh, yeah. Her, what are you doing here, right? <laughs> That is a power post. Right? Private policing. The OMAC. The one man army corps. Okay, we're going full OMAC right from the beginning. Interesting. Directly into the human brain to create a self contained war unit, allowing a. Huh, cool. Security corps can rely on. A future we can control. Wow, that was the most dystopian ad I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vengeance and his reckless management. And then after he'd done all that, you that painting is it's, wild. Yeah. Maybe you should pay. Hey, hey! <gasps> Back away, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to find a new job, Jaime Reyes. You too, toilet. Go. On delay. Hmm. Just casually threatening a board member. What could go wrong? Yeah. Give me your phone. Let me give you my number. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why? She's gonna get him a job. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's handsome, but like. Pre-law. Uh, yeah. You guys need any pre-lawyers? <laughs> Ah. <laughs> that that was brutal. That uh, I don't think he's gonna recover from <laughs> that one. I think she might be into you. What? That jawline. The villain is so generically evil that they're yeah. lucky that they got an actress who is actually kind of making it work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great cut. <laughs> what in the foreshadowing? And this is the part of the movie where Jaime watches TikTok for 45 minutes. He's also like... Oh, he's just straight up oh. scrolling her Instagram. He's also got the pro, it looks like. So, you know, he, he, he splurged a little bit on that phone. That's, you know what? That's fair. I see three cameras. Just that, saying. That's a, that is a, well, actually, that might be an old phone in this world, though. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. You know what I mean? The pro in this land has seven cameras. Ah, uh, that would make sense. I mean, mine has five, so. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that lasts. Hmm. <laughs> He's great. Yeah. Nos vemos en la mañana. This is giving me Miss Marvel vibes, the TV show, mm -hmm. in that if they never introduced superpowers, I would be content to watch 
just this like family, family drama. Yeah, Because yeah. the family unit works so well. Yeah. That I'm kind of just like, I don't even need him to get superpowers. They're a charismatic, like, family with issues that I give a shit about. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm kind of hoping that this doesn't go like Miss Marvel, where the superhero stuff just wasn't as strong as the family stuff, ultimately. Yeah, yeah. You got this. The button-down denim shirt? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, you look like an asshole, just like everybody else. <laughs> Gotta burn this dumb Don't down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I bet. I bet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This looks like a school uniform. I think it is, is it? his school uniform. Because he may not have another, like, jacket. Oh, hey, look, they're at the Marriott in Atlanta. Oh, I was gonna say it's Stark Industries. <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks like the um, Oscorp from uh, mm. Amazing Spider Man 2. Mm -hmm. Wow. Does that guy look like he's in a delivery outfit? Why don't you have a seat, Jamie? <laughs> okay, thank you. What a bitch. Jesus Christ. Fuck her. <laughs> What would we do without Big Belly Burger? You know? Hey, just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just wanted to enjoy a sandwich. I don't know how he got back in when she swiped his card. That is a great point. Did he? Maybe she put it back? Yeah, that, no, it is a great point. He didn't notice that his key card was swiped. Maybe they also have fingerprint things. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, he needs a job. Get a quick learn. Yeah, good. Here go. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay. Lock up the south entrances. You two with me. Yeah, it was like they definitely saw that entire interaction. So you went in to get us jobs. And all you brought back was a hamburger? <laughs> you haven't looked? She said not to open it. Hello. <laughs> She's not here. What? Hello. <laughs> I love this family. <laughs> so childish. What? She stole his fries? Yeah. At least monster. leave the fries behind. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of a letdown. It's beautiful. What do you mean? It's yeah. gorgeous. Hey, 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 milagro. Honestly, if she put it on and became the blue beetle, I'd be down. She's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. It's heavy. Okay. That might be like a priceless, like antique artifact. <laughs> I love Church Lopez. Hama. <laughs> I think he likes me. What the <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's horrifying. Whoa! Full body horror for this. Oh yeah, this would be horrifying. This is what that fantastic movie was trying to do in the middle, but it just went on too long. Rudy, that looked great. Yeah, actually. Oh. What the? What a shot. <laughs> 
For a first suit up scene, that was incredibly creative. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. It was also terrifying. The shot with the Virgin Mary though, chef's kiss. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Testing re-entry systems. Wait, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I love that they're testing them by, we're just gonna fall. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm on fire. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> He's I'm on day. fire. <laughs> oh man. Systems check complete. Oh, thank God it's over. Okay. The way the wings are like, mm -hmm. it's cool. Yeah. Listen to me. You got the wrong guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love that even the suit is sassy uh, with him. Yeah. No. Nope. Has it you? Nah, man. <laughs> that was a nice car. Yeah. <laughs> Approaching. What the? That's a great shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! That's gonna make the news. Close protection. Success. <laughs> I kinda love this movie. <laughs> I think it just hit me. <laughs> I'm on hold again. Return landing. Success. He's Jamie, not Hyman. Wow, he's really out of it if he's calling himself Jamie. Yeah, right? <laughs> you can't play. The camera work in this scene is so well done mm -hmm. to hide that the scarab is still on his back. Yeah, yeah. Until that shot. There yeah. it is, yeah. Oh, it's in him. Oh, it's even worse. Shoes, not the 84s. <gasps> No. That's sad. <laughs> that is very sad. I'm sorry, brother. I think I cut a bus in half and then- What? And... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Besides, what if she's in danger? What if oh. she's in danger? Jaime, you flew you out of you the room. <laughs> <laughs> they got distracted so easily. <laughs> They're so cute. No. No! 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 <gasps> oh, his uncle's about to whoop his ass. George <laughs> 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 Lopez is a national treasure. Mm. This movie's great. It's fun. I'm having a good time. I can totally see why James Gunn looked at this and went, hey, even if we don't keep this as canon to the DCU, we're gonna keep this. Cause the family works. Mm -hmm. He's charming. <laughs> the suit design's great. Yeah. Here. Just go, just go, they're coming. Who's there? Sure. <laughs> why not? Hey, oh my God. <laughs> when, when she's hot, you know. Wow, they uh. Oh, they have started when they have guns. Why are they? Don't they need her to find out where the scarab went? Why are they just trying to kill her? Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> he took her home! <laughs> where else is she gonna go? They just opened fire and he brought her back to his house. With the truck shot up. I'm good, I'm fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
went swimming out there by where your family has that company, my testicles are seven times their normal size. Mom. This. <gasps> oh, I forgot how bad it looked. Oh. <laughs> I, I because know, I really I've been working on something that I believe can help us, and it's almost finished. <laughs> oh, good. This is gonna go well. <laughs> He's playing I am physically uncomfortable in a suit so perfectly. Yeah, yeah. When will it be ready? Oh, it's ready, isn't it? As a decorated man, goddamn. Well, have a cigar. They're made by real Cubans. What? As opposed to fake Cubans? Now go get me that cigar. Hmm. I changed my mind about the villain. That that was a much different take. I liked it. Yeah. There was some like genuine intimacy in that. <clears throat> Manipulative. Yeah, yeah. It's a video game. I'll keep the truck running. Let's go. Wow. What is? I'm assuming it's an electromagnet of some kind that's gonna wipe out their security system. Yeah. That cord security patch is so goofy. Better future, a cord future. Oh God. Yeah, the way they're like satirizing the like fake. Charity of these Jamaica yeah. corporations is really well done. Lieutenant Carapax, we got a problem. Are they in the lobby? It kind of seems like it. Oh, this is like um old cord tech. Okay, let's go. Oh, like the vintage stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. No. What is he doing here? At the building he works at? Watch out, watch out. Here we go! Hola, Jaime. <laughs> How's hard to do that? I have no idea. <laughs> the way his mouth moves when he talks is well done. Mm. The way it like separate, there's like three layers of black and they separate. Yeah. The CGI artist said, unless it's physical, but I think it's CGI and it's. It's well handled. Yeah. What the hell is that thing? The Omeg. You're going to regret that. I thought he needed the scarab. They... Maybe this is like a 1.0 and he needs the scarab yeah. to go. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, it seems like he's the experimental version. And my song too. Oh! <laughs> That noise! It's not a noise I ever thought I'd hear George Lopez make. Right. I'm not in control of this thing! No, 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 let me explain! Never mind, he's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, goddamn. I'm not gonna lie, the OMAC needs some dick protection. <laughs> It's like his most exposed thing right now. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, there's, there's The family more jewels are just like out and about. That looked cool. Jeez. Oh my god, my hands are guns. Oh my god, my hands are guns. Where do you think you're going? Hey, you guys gotta get out of here. Mm. Stupid boy. Do you think you could beat me? He, he, he did. You should have finished me when you had a chance. Is he about to curb stomp him? Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, <laughs> let's go, Rudy! Oh, damn. Snap out of it. Don't look, don't look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is very Wayne Manor in. Yeah. Um, Batman v Superman. Well, damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It makes sense. 
The guardrail's a nice touch. Batman would never. Batman doesn't do railings. If a Robin dies, it's their own fault, you know? Jeez. No way. It's Tron. I was gonna say Ready Player One. Yeah. Like if he had ADHD or something? Batman's a fascist. The Blue Beetle. Yeah, a sense of humor. It's true. So instead, he built his own tech to fight as Blue Beetle. There's a way. Okay, that's an interesting way to handle it. You're a good listener. <laughs> My mom says it's because I got big ears. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I found something in the drawer. Nothing oh. happened. <laughs> <laughs> So did Ted Korn run away and just hide concrete balls everywhere? That's kind of what it seems like, yeah. None will ever find these giant concrete balls I made. So once a scarab goes up someone's ass. <laughs> it didn't go up my ass. Okay. <laughs> this wasn't made on Earth, got us on. No way. See, way. It's alien. Yeah, I don't really like the term alien. I mean, you can use it, but Whatever. I Whatever. Oh, it's the little things, and yeah. this movie gets them right. Yeah. The good news is, I figured out how to get it out. Right. <laughs> and the bad news is that you have to be dead. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a walk. Hi, Major. Let me go talk to him. I think I know where he's going. Cabezon! Where he's going? I don't know. Neither of you have ever here. been here before. Oh, to look at Oh, he the... likes the roofs. George Lopez is delivering a very nuanced performance here where he's doing the comedic relief so well, mm -hmm. but also that scene, he crushed the me the technical mumbo jumbo. Yeah, yeah. It's not lost on me that your situation is a little bit out of the ordinary. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Do you hear that? Oh. That's Victoria. How did they ever find us at my dad's house? I'm Reyes. Come out with your hands up. Huh. You said this thing isn't going to protect me, right? Uh, it's not going to let me die? No, no, I mean, we die. I, All right, let's see if it works. I wouldn't test it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... There we go. Back to the Tacoma, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How much did they pay to have the Tacoma be featured so heavily in this movie? I, it took me a minute to realize why it's called the Taco. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. These uh, helmet designs are really cool. Yeah. Keep the light on. Got your left. There's a lot of really, really creative design work in this movie. Mm, yeah. And camera work. Mm-hmm. Do you think he's in the pantry? <laughs> like, oh, they don't know the scarab's in his bot. Well, no, they would know that now, right? Mm, if they watch the news, maybe. No, Carapax knows, because... Oh, Carapax no! would know, yeah. Oh, Jaime's about to fuck them up so bad. Where is he? No diga nada. Where is he? Where? <laughs> that could use that arsenal right about now. We'll see how long that no kill rule lasts when you fuck with his family. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, look, don't, don't shoot. I don't want to hurt you guys. Fire. <laughs> oh my god, I'm bulletproof. <laughs> Let's see. I got your eyes open. Ooh, the wings are cool. Yeah, they're sick. Oh, kill it! Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> it's not killing if you launch them 40 feet into a wall yeah, like that. Yeah, it's just concussions. Let's do this. Oh my god, those people are so dead. Nah. Oh. No. Maybe him. That man's bones were just turned to jelly. Stay where you are. Oh. 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 Carapax, ready the claw. 
<laughs> the claw. The claw. The claw. <laughs> Get that out of here. Go. Go. Okay, I was I like, was oh my god, his dad's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> what was in the house? Fuck you! <sighs> Jesus Christ, that sucked. <laughs> Cause that was so cool. I know. Jenny probably feels so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nana's not fucking around. Jesus. I didn't think this was a movie I would need tissues for. <laughs> I didn't either. Oh my god. I really hope they all get dressed in the old blue beetle suits and they're all blue beetle. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think they're about to tech up. That is the most Tamagotchi watch. <laughs> oh my god. It just works. So, you know that old tech, you just need to slap around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Showed his boss. Oh shit! Thrusters. How did Jaime not know who the Blue Beetle was? <laughs> You'd think every kid in Palmero would be like, would have this on their wall, you know? Mm, yeah. What's the plan when we get there? We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Mm, burn something. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Nana brought snacks. You guys want to see Dad's toys? Ah, uh, not when you say it like that. <laughs> not like that. At least she didn't say Daddy's toys. Yeah, yeah. Do these things work? That's gonna come back. Yep. Some of them. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't try it inside the thing you're flying in. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm keeping this one. <laughs> <laughs> how are we supposed to learn how to use these things? Why <laughs> <laughs> well, hold that so perfectly? <laughs> 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 uh, that was great. I'm so glad they found a way to get the family into the end of this. Yeah, me too. What the hell? I mean, one day we're gonna have to talk about Nana's revolutionary past. <laughs> I love this movie. This is great. How did this flop? I don't get it. This yeah. is great. Like, the, the villain plot is, like, kind of very weak and generic. Like, it's like, yes, Yeah, but even that, guy, that but one scene it's... where she played it like that... Well, and... The manipulative it... scene of um, Carapax in the kitchen made it more complicated for me in a way I like. For sure. But also, like... Like, it's also, like, not that important. Like, there's yeah, so yeah. much other stuff that takes up space that's so good. I mean, like, a big reason is racism, but... Yeah, I guess... Well, let's, let's be real, right? Yeah. But if you made this movie with Ted Cord, you take out all of the, like, immigration analogs that have made it deeper than I think that it would have been otherwise. Yeah. Like, there's a cultural specificity to this movie that makes it worth it to me. 
Yeah. That it makes the story worth telling. Mm -hmm. And I think they've done a great job with that part of it. Mm -hmm. But now that you've activated it, we can transfer its code directly into the OMAC. I mean, technically, you found it. Like, you're both playing Finder's Keepers rules here. Mm -hmm. But sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. For a second, I was like, did we just enter Game of Thrones? Can we buy a castle one day? Probably not. We could probably <laughs> afford one in, like, I don't know. 79 years? Scotland. No, apparently castles are cheap. Because they're too much upkeep. Mm, fair. They wouldn't be wired for internet. True. Oh no. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Whoa! Animo! <laughs> well. <laughs> well, the element of surprise is gone. I think that was surprising. <laughs> I'm so glad I love this movie. Yeah. Because I love Jaime Reyes as a character. Mm -hmm. And this is a very different Jaime Reyes from Young Justice. But it it's it's doing more than I thought it was going to. Mm. And I'm I yeah, I just this is great. Yeah, this has been a great time. Also, this looks great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy has less of an issue with killing people. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> they also, you know, shot at them. So oh, it's like. Oh, I have no problem with superheroes killing people. I want to be clear. That is not a like thing that I need my superheroes to do. <laughs> that was just a very violent death for yeah. that man. <laughs> yeah. Activating bug heart. Ted Cord would animate the fucking sound into it too. Is this gonna be the next like the next ride movie. at like Universal Studios? Yes! <laughs> Instead of like a smuggler's run, they have this. But like why not? I'll keep it safe. Start the transfer. And when it's complete. Honestly, not a bad idea, because it might get destroyed when the like suit happens. Oh my god, I thought she was about to back into that. Victoria, you crazy bitch. <laughs> Fully operational OMAC systems. Enough to build an entire army. I mean, technically, OMAC is a one-man <laughs> army. It, what, it doesn't matter. It's enough one men. It's enough one men to make many armies. If the strike hadn't happened, mm -hmm. and you could have put this cast on the road selling mm -hmm. this movie, I think they would have had a hit. Yeah. This movie is great. Yeah. The, they're so charming together. Yeah. Oh, does he get to see his dad? Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna weep. Dad. That's beautiful. What a shot! You know. No. Up. Up here. That was stunning. I know. What a creative. Like the. Oh, fuck. I can't believe Blue Beetle <laughs> <laughs> is fucking ruining me. Which is what Jenny's gonna say later on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because her dad was the old blue beetle. <laughs> How am I gonna do this without you? You'll see I'm pleased to be contigo, Franco. I'm so glad they gave his dad that moment. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
Boom. <laughs> Hami's like, I'm not a killer, and everyone else in this movie is like, like but I, I, I am. Hold my beer. <laughs> Don't worry, Jaime, we got the murder covered. What the fuck is he gonna do? Is he gonna say his real name? Oh. No, he's gonna let him out. <laughs> My name is not Sanchez Pendeja! It's Jose Francisco Morales Rivera de la Cruz! Yeah! <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> God damn! This movie's rough. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, why? oh boy. Jeez. Oh shit. Let's go, Jenny. He's like, oh god, I gotta turn sideways to get through this door. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, he looks great. I do like the Samus Aran inspired helmet. Now, this look. Wow, she's wet right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I fucking love this movie. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh my god. <laughs> His face. Ahora sí nos podemos ir, mijo. Can you imagine how much fun they had filming this? <sighs> Find your strength, mijito. Use the pain we're feeling and, and turn it into power. I want you to go back in there. Partele su pinche They're so good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like that she has the League of Legends gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Get out away from my sister. I'm out, I'm out. You ready, Kaji? Vamos a partirles la madre. That's sick. Who's <laughs> first? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Less concerns about killing people now. <laughs> yeah, well, they uh, they kind of earned it, you know. Oh, a thousand percent. <laughs> nice long shots of the action. Yeah. They're not choppy editing it to sh shit. Yeah, no, it was great. Let's go. <laughs> this movie is. Fucking rad. Yeah, it's great. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm sad it didn't make money. But I like, know. People are going to find this over time, and it's going to be one of those movies that people are like, oh, fuck, we slept on Blue Beetle. Yeah, I hope so. Get over here. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah, that was my... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we're gonna find her before the others do because I, I... Watch out! What the hell was that? Fuck. Here we go. Blast Okay, now give me blades. Oh, okay, now give me... Yours. 
Nice. There we go. The legally different arc reactor. Yeah. This is not the final fight from Iron Man 1. Is this monster hunting? <laughs> it's kind of more Final Fantasy, to be honest. <laughs> Well, damn. <laughs> the power of imagination. Imagination. <laughs> Come on, that's all you got to do. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Regenerative systems critical. <laughs> Oh. 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 Jesus. For a bunch of CGI, they gave that a lot of weight. And I gotta give them yeah. props for it, right? Yeah, it honestly looks great. <laughs> His aim is incredible. Yeah. Hurry. <laughs> Carapax is just a, a prototype. This is the only thing that's important. The Scarab Code. The LG Wing? <laughs> you know, there's a reason they don't make those phones anymore. They didn't sell well. <laughs> I can't believe she has an LG wig as a phone. <laughs> oh. I hate the idea of that touching my skin. Fair. Uh, I do like that the thing he made for his daughter though was like protective. Yeah. We're not done! <laughs> You see, the villain is America. Um, <laughs> and the British. Yeah. The French. Yeah. Corporations. Capitalism. Colonization. Yeah. We really fucked up, didn't we? Cuida tu familia. Váyanse. What are you doing? <laughs> They're getting away. <laughs> I mean, not a killer, but... Maxing out the energy reactor in his suit, I advise we back away. No, dude. <sighs> what? What? No! What are you doing? Stop! My God. I mean, she deserves it. Don't get me wrong. I don't feel, you know. No! Stop! I suggest we run. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just got kicked in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> How? You know, hierba mala nunca muere. Nana, we have to have a serious conversation about your past. <laughs> This movie is so good. I know. My father's legacy. It's not about destruction. That truck. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? I mean, Jaime's probably gonna marry into the court family, so you guys are gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, she would show up <laughs> in a sexy leather jacket on a motorcycle. God damn. This is the kind of party where we would have to bring food for you because everything on that table is too spicy for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this 
sounds like the Reyes family's rubbing off a little bit on Jenny Corbin. Yeah. <laughs> I felt really bad, so I I got you a new tailgate. Oh. <laughs> How do you like that cupcake? A <laughs> little on the nose, no? Rudy, oh. thank you. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I was Cardinal, I'd hired him. Yeah, right? With a fucking, like, generator, he built a system that took down your entire security system? Yeah. She knows why she's walking in front of him like that in those pants. How? Oh. I feel a surge of blood rushing towards your mid-region. Stop. <laughs> no, 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 not you. Oh. <laughs> that'll, that's, that's gonna be fun to navigate. They are a power thruple. Uh, yes. True power thruple. <laughs> That's a euphemism. <laughs> there definitely is, like... Jaime is going to be naked around her a lot. Yeah. So she's going to have to get used to that. Yeah. Okay. That is a very attractive couple. <laughs> yeah. Well done. That was fucking great. All right, I'm assuming the post-credit scene is gonna be about Ted. Oh, there is one? I'm assuming there is. Okay. There might not be. Um, l so good. Yeah, that was great. That was I a loved great that. movie. Yeah. It was so much fun. It was so like. Exactly two hours. It didn't overstay its welcome. It did yeah. what it needed to do. Yeah. Yeah. That movie rocked. Yeah. I'm like, a little bit taken aback at how good it is. Yeah. Considering, like, I definitely saw there was, like, some mixed responses from critics. And I think that maybe, yeah. like, maybe superhero fatigue is real and people are just tired of superhero movies. But maybe. even in that, this movie felt different. Oh, for sure. It had its own vibe. And I, yeah. The, like, music. Yeah. Are yeah. going to fuck in the Beetle Cave? You have to at least once, right? Uh, I guess. Just to say you did it. Although, I would turn around, like, the my dad's statues. Yeah, fair. Is Ted coming back from the future now? Hmm. Cool. That's fun. Yeah, I assumed it was going to be that he was in the future with, um, that he got, like, caught in the future with, um, uh, Booster Gold. Um, but that was fun. That was a fun little teaser. Is there another post credit scene? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like their show. Uh, no, it's the thing from earlier. Oh, gotcha. All right. Um, really, really like strong performances. Mm -hmm. uh, e even the villains, right? Like a little bit generic, but the way in which the actors brought it allowed for a rather generic villain to, I think, be more interesting than it otherwise would have been. In yeah. Way I thought was really impressive. Yeah, for sure. But it also like, to be honest, this movie isn't about the villain. No, it's about family. Yeah. And it's not even about saving the world. It's yeah. like community and family. And about like how American capitalism and British colonialism and, and, and those like <clears throat> larger world forces are really the villains at the end of the day of this, right? Yep. Um, Victoria is the instrument of that, but yep. the, the, the villain is more present in the Starbucks coming soon sign than it is in the actual villains of the movie. Right, yeah. And I, I think that that was handled so well throughout the film that you really, you got to, even though, you know, it's obviously not our experience, right, living in Canada, um, the, 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 the conversation about immigration is not one that we have as much here. It's right. not as big a, a part it's, of our lives. It's very different because we're also just because of the borders. Like, yeah. we are mm -hmm. bordered with America and, like, there's we're, no one's trying to fucking build a wall to keep yeah. the Americans out. Like uh, There's definitely been some conversations since, you know, a certain year, but... Um, sure, somebody is, <laughs> somebody is having those conversations. But, but the, the movie, I think, did such a good job of making that experience accessible to the audience, regardless of whether or not it's your experience. Yeah. And I, I just have to give so much credit to the, the director and the cinematographer and, and the entire set deck team. Mm -hmm. uh, so much of the story of this movie is told in the set decoration. And I thought that the, the specific of that and I know I talk about cultural specificity a lot in our reactions and when it is good like <clears throat> like everything everywhere all at once right like um, 
um, RRR. Yeah. They're like those movies that we love reacting to are the ones that really uh, allow for a specific worldview to be so specific that it becomes a... Um, a universal experience, right? Yeah. It becomes more relatable because what doesn't, what isn't relatable to anyone, in my in opinion, is when you make culture so homogenous mm -hmm. that it just kind of feels like it couldn't possibly exist because nobody's life is that kind of generic. Yeah. And when you dive into the specifics of a community, you allow for empathy to take over in the storytelling, and it allows for someone who isn't from that community to empathize with it more. Yeah. For than sure. when it's like, oh, this is kind of like my cultural experience, but also kind of like nobody's cultural. experience experience yeah like i like like i i couldn't relate to anything in this movie on like a personal like i've experienced this level yeah but i felt like i could relate to it yeah because it felt real mm -hmm. it felt like fleshed out and yeah it was beautiful yeah i think that the use of the bilingual Lism. And even I, I, one of the things that I appreciated about it is that they didn't translate everything. Yep. So there, there was a lot of the, the Spanish that was not translated on screen. It was only what was necessary for you to understand what was going on. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the Spanish was... Like not, not a lot, but there was stuff. yeah, there, there was a there was a good amount of it that just... It, it, you didn't need to translate it because the actors sold exactly what they were saying. Yeah. Even if you don't speak Spanish. And like, you know, I, I, I understand enough that like... I, I was able to pick up on that early that they weren't translating everything. Oh, but, sure. Okay. Um, I think that it became really clear throughout the movie that that's what was going on. And I thought that was really smart. I, I like the bilingualism. I love the Nana. Especially with the suit as well. Yeah, the, but it, like, it it, it, it it doesn't just take him over and assimilate him. But it doesn't speak Spanish until they're one. Yeah. And so it's it, showing that the suit and him... Because usually there's like a like, oh, now we have the same memory or something like that. Yeah. But just taking one moment to say the suit speaks Spanish now because they have symbioted it. Symbioted. <laughs> Inspired. Inspired choice. Yeah. Really. Like, fuck, this movie's good. Yeah, it was great. It, and it was all in the details. It was all in the little things. It was like, it was yeah. the family, the characters, the, the Nana. Like, and like the, like even the, uh, not the villain, but like the other like beetle guy. Carapax. Carapax. Like yeah. even even in the specificity of of how he got to where he got. Yeah. Like that scene was heartbreaking. Yeah, it was the very dad. well done. The dad was so good. His death was heartbreaking. But bring I I, I don't know that I would have liked it as much if they hadn't brought him back to, to have yeah. a real moment. If yeah. like the last time we saw him was just dead on the street. I know. Giving him the like hopeful moment, it reminded me of Coco. Um just because that movie also kind of plays with, like, a father relationship and the, like, afterlife in a way that is so fucking heartbreaking. Uh, Coco, if you've never seen Coco, go watch Coco. That movie fucking slaps. Um, the, the, the bringing him back and allowing him to have that goodbye scene so that we end his character on this very beautiful, hopeful moment mm -hmm. and not just him lying dead on the street. Yeah. I think uh, really is, is a testament to the, the, the writing and the... Yes. the Choices made around this film. Absolutely. Yeah. If I was if I was James Gunn's DCU, if I was moving forward from here, I would make this movie canon. I would make this world canon because that was beautiful. And like, yeah. this is what I want superhero movies to do, right? I want them to be about the real world through superheroes and hit those emotional beats. And yeah, because you can't come up with the, uh, like perfectly unique origin story every single time. Like you know, yeah. like this. <laughs> Someone's already done something, so so yeah. ha so have the <laughs> so, you know what guys? Someone's, someone's already, already done, done something. something. So Polaris, something. Polaris, twenty twenty three. You're welcome. We're done here, guys. That was uh, <laughs> quote of the year. <laughs> it's going in the book. It in just before twenty twenty four starts. Uh, <laughs> Somebody's done something. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not done. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, but I just mean like the uniqueness is going to come from like the people and yeah. not the 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 plot 100%. points. Yeah. Yeah, and also the action editing because I've been complaining about action editing a lot of stuff we've watched lately because it's been some bad stuff. Looking at you, Wheel of Time. Mm. Um, yeah, no, this was great. The action editing was really strong. Yeah. You know, the CGI wasn't perfect, but it was solid enough, and the choices were creative and bold in a way that, like, I, I would rather them spend a little bit less money and the CGI not be perfect and get a product like this than always spend over $200 million and just be putting out flops. Like, yeah. you know, they were just saying the only movie that was with a $200 million budget this year or more 
um, that made money was Guardians. Every other two hundred million dollar um, movie flopped in twenty twenty three. Damn. Um, and obviously Aquaman hasn't come out yet, but it's not looking great. Um, there, I think there's another two hundred million dollar movie in December. But this movie with a slightly smaller budget had good enough CGI and strong choices yeah. that allowed it to look like its own world. Yeah. And and I, I would rather they make movies like this that are about a family that you give a shit about mm-hmm. than a $200 million... Wow, I was wowed by the spectacle it's of it, pretty... but I didn't care about a fucking person. Yeah. I care about that family so much after yeah. those two hours. Yeah. the I think my biggest, like, I, I, I think... It's like Dune, I didn't really give a shit about any of the characters, but yeah, it looked pretty. You you made something that looked great. Whereas this is I'm like I yeah. like the people mattered to me, the relationships mattered to me. And like it, even if there were like moments where it didn't look like the best, like I I didn't care. I will push back on you on that example just because Dune is not a 200 million dollar movie. They spent significantly less and uh, the Evil New really? made it look that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I Dune thought, is also okay, that's my bad. Dune, Dune, the point is that everybody that we meet in the first movie is a terrible person, right? They're all bad. <laughs> they are the imperialists of the galaxy. Yeah, okay. But it, it, it is, you know, the, and, and we'll... It's just we'll, then why am I going to, like, watch a story where I, like, can't relate to anybody? Like, that's because not Because part my cup two of tea. brings that in. Yeah, but and, I've and this is what I said. and I don't... Like, they are already, like, fucked up characters, so I'm... Fair, like, fair, fair. And I know that you don't like the way they handled the one character, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 that, that's why I said after we watched Dune Part 1 that, like, I need to see Part 2 to know if I like what they're doing with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't... I didn't dislike it, but I also was like, this is... Ha- I need to see the whole story sure. before I know. Because it's just half of it. But, but I will say that Dune, Dune was not an overpriced movie. Okay. They They spent their money very well and made it look incredible. So I... Yeah. I, I, to be fair to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, no, but I, I, but, I, 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 but budgets I are point not point. my speciality. Like, I, I couldn't look at a movie and be like, yeah, it probably had, like, this budget. Um, I don't know that anyone could have looked at Dune and guessed how much he spent on it. Because I would have guessed $200 million, Right. And but the fact not. that he didn't is a miracle. Because yeah. the ornithopters look so good in that yeah. film. Yeah, um, but yeah. I, but so I, does I, this. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoy it. Like, there was, like, I think maybe one or two moments where I'm like, mm, that didn't look perfect. Yeah. But, like, eh, who cares? The, su- the first suit-up scene, unreal. Oh, my God. It was so horrifying. Much fun. It was so good. The horror was great. The, 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 when so many superhero stories are like, wow, we just, we got powers. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my gosh. And this was, like, like disgusting and, and like, horrifying. And I was like, that like I wouldn't want that to happen to me, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I'm very impressed. I yeah. think that, I think his name's Sholo. I think that's how it's pronounced. If I got that wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, I've never seen uh, Cobra Kai, but mm-hmm. apparently he's amazing in that. Uh, and he was great here. He mm-hmm. led the movie really well. He, I, I think he didn't get to shine as much as the characters around him because he played straight man to his family. And they got a... to be the more flashy characters. Yeah, it felt more of an ensemble movie, I think, mm-hmm. than your typical superhero movie. Yeah, so. and he, but he played the, like, kind of, he played the center of that yeah. unit. And so the sister, Rudy, they got to have, and the Nana got to be more the comedic characters. Yes. And have the bigger moments. And then his mom and dad got to have the very sweet moments. Yeah. Uh, and he just, um, he kind of got, like, put into the role of, like, he is the hot male lead. Yeah. And so I do hope that uh, in the sequel, which I'm hoping they get, because this movie is incredible. Yeah, I hope they get it too. I hope he gets a couple more moments to kind of break out of that and, and have um, the, like, shining acting moments. Yeah. Um, I, and part of the reason, I think, why I, we didn't get that as much is because he is captured when his dad dies. And right. so the family kind of gets to have the first emotional scene around that. Yeah. Um, but he did he did an incredible job. This is not taking away from him. It is just the structure of this movie really gave so much focus to everybody else and allowed them to really shine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, one question I do have is about the acting choices is that I get that Jenny's mom is Brazilian, but where did her accent come from? Um I think I would have liked really a, know, just a little bit more about who raised her cuz I'm a li- I was a little I don't really know who raised her cuz her mom died when she was 6 mm-hmm. and then her dad disappeared when she was 8. So Yeah, and then what happened to her? And I think that, that sure. I would like the sequel to get into that. Yeah. Because I was, she is the like romantic second 
to in the movie. Yeah. But because the family gets so much time, I feel like she didn't get as much development. Yeah, sure. And yeah. like I would have liked a little Which feels like movie two is gonna be her dad and I her, hope so. like, yeah, that, yeah. that that makes sense, but Yeah. Because she's she's a great actress. I really liked her performance. I just didn't really get her and Victoria seemed so far apart to me, and I I, I think that like their their relationship I I, I would have liked to have understood a little bit more. If I had like one criticism of the film, it would be kind of that. Yeah. Everything yeah. else around that I think is a ten out of ten. I think the movie's really strong. Yeah. I would love more from this family in this movie. I, yeah. I would love this to get sequels and uh, for this Blue Beetle to be the Blue Beetle in the upcoming DCU. Yeah, because uh, he's great. Yeah. yeah, that was fantastic. The sister's great. I love her too. Yeah. I I don't know. I I'm I, I wept like this movie. I I cried at three different occasions in this film. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I laughed my ass off. This movie's great. Yeah. It's just really good. No, I, I, like, I am very sad that it flopped because this was one of my favorite movies of the year, for sure. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Yeah. I get why this didn't go to streaming. If I, if you put me in a room and you were like, is this a streaming movie? I'd be like, no. no. Every theater on earth. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you, patrons, for choosing this, because that hey. fucking rocked. Yeah. If you like the video, like, and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below, because the algorithm god is hungry, and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is... The Scarab. I was going to say the Nana. Okay, yeah, the Nana. Just, like, fucking taking people out. I want a prequel about her when she was young. Oh, but it wouldn't be the same would... actress, and I would miss the actress. She's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, and it would probably not be happy. Yeah. If you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clara's Plus. That was a transition. Do something nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye, guys. Bye.